June. A lot of people don't select Tim Duncan. I think he, for how great he is on. I was just about to say he's underrated. Underrated. But he's like one of the best power forwards of all time. Like top two, top three, maybe one. Maybe one. Well, you gotta say that now because you're a company man. Maybe not. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. This ain't this ain't mine. We're here at 2K23 House of Greatness at Summer League, where NBA players and some of the 2K community are checking out 2K23 for the 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Thunder, no doubt, one of the NBA's best dress squads. Coming down the tunnel earlier tonight, They'll want to carry that sharp look onto the floor in front of their home crowd. From the plains of Oklahoma, welcome high above downtown Oklahoma City. And thank you for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love right here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. And the power rankings now, second half of February. Interesting to see how some of these teams compare. They're locked in again at that third spot. Not a bad place to be. And looking at Sacramento, they still go out and compete every night. Unfortunately, it's one step forward, two steps back. And right now, they're running out of time. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Well, Kevin, we know the game's changing, and Steve Kerr says, I'm amazed by the skill level of today's players. But the little things, getting back in transition, boxing out, they aren't as locked in. Most of them didn't have a high school and college coach yelling at them for eight straight years. So, it's a different world. Guys? Good perspective from Steve Kerr. D.A., thank you. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Luke Walton's going with. And for Oklahoma City. So Sacramento will get the first possession. Fox, the bounce pass. Halliburton finds Fox. There's the triple. Doesn't go for him. So the Thunder will take it the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. You know what, though? Not, not only did they get to the free throw line a lot, but they converted at a high clip. Well, they pushed the action on the offensive end. Strategically super aggressive, and it really paid off for them at the free throw line. Here's Horton Tucker. Against Washington, he was really on his game. From past the arc, gets it to go from beyond the arc. Kenton Tucker's got the first bucket of the game with the three for Oklahoma City. First quarter of play, one minute played. Thunder with the rebound. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. Oklahoma City shooting their first free throws of the night right here. for two. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. 
Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. So first quarter just over a minute and a half in. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. For Sacramento, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Holmes passes to Fox. Holmes trying to free himself up. Fox, no good. Yeah, scoreless here early after their first four shots. They, right now, are searching for a bucket. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Horton Tucker. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Fox. Drops in the layer for two. What a pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. He's capable as a scorer, but finds his teammate there. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Fox. Holmes trying to free himself up. They can't stop the run with that one. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's Horton Tucker. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage right around 86%. So, no doubt, he's pleased with that. First one falls for him. So he hits both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Down low. Here's Holmes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. First make of the day should finally give them a little confidence. It's usually interesting. After a bit of a struggle, does the first bucket get you into a little rhythm now? And yes, it's good. This guy's got tremendous length for his position. So at six foot six, Gilgis Alexander confident attacking in the paint. Greg, you know, you think back to when Gilgis Alexander came to the Thunder, came over in that Paul George trade. He exploded after that deal. The most of the focus on the picks the Thunder got, but Gilgis Alexander has been the biggest return by far. Exploded once he arrived with the Thunder. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Banked in off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Pass to Halliburton. Releases. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. To the middle. And it's off the back rim. No good. The Kings trail by 11. And there's the drive. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Sacramento shooting their first free throws of this game. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. James Harden, he's checked in for Fox. Oh. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And last season, All-Stars Greg missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, are you concerned about the toll it takes? You are, but this off-season may be not as painfully short as the last one. And in these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. Now, here is Halliburton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he comes up with the deuce. Oh, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. The layup off target. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. up the alley pass throws down the alley -oop slam oh phenomenal alley -oop slam there they are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there and here's Hellebert he's coming off a 22 point game against Detroit pass to Gilgis Alexander Rebounded by Holmes. The Kings trail by nine. And there's the pass to Harden. Back to Holmes. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Holmes can't get it to go in. And it's Oklahoma City's ball. They're on a 15 to six run. Looking now, it's the numbers for him. And guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved and a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. And he knocks down the first one. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, and early on doing a really nice job at the free throw line. Mitchell passes to Tom. He dishes it to Harden. Ball's knocked loose. Jovic. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Here's Tom. And he goes in for the dunk. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Mitchell, feeling it out a bit, passes it to Harden. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. We're so used to seeing Harden pull up off the dribble, but he's not going to turn down a chance to get off that catch-and-shoot jumper if it's there. Here's Horton Tucker. He has seven. Pass to Pakusevsky. Second chance shot. Sacramento grabs the miss. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. And guys, there's really a fine line between being aggressive and being out of control. In that one, they crossed the line. You have got to be a low mistake team in today's NBA because once those turnovers start piling up, you're giving your opponent too many extra looks. Now, here's Tom. Harden missing his last shot. Lets it go with a three. The rebound by Simon. Pass to Pakusevsky. Here's the three. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. They've been excellent 
so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. And arguably, no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Here's Horton Tucker. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Four on the shot clock. The rebound by Brozdakis. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. There's the pass to Simons. Here's Horton Tucker. It's hauled in by the Kings. Roz Dakis has got his fourth rebound in this one. Boy, he cannot get anything to fall, but the teammates, boy, have they delivered. Time out, time out. And the basket is good. And there's a pattern time starting to take Oklahoma shape City. here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Timeout is called first of the game for the Thunder. Come on, get loud for your Thunder girl. Sexton, he's checked in for Sacramento. We get a moment now to view the league's stingiest defenses. In third, the Thunder. This is a team that takes pride on the defensive side of the floor. I mean, they play hard and they play together. They are a tough group to score on. Here's Simons. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. For three, Todd with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Here's Sexton. And again, it's Sacramento Colin converted. Sexton. And Colin Sexton is a scorer. It doesn't matter if he's on the interior. This guy is determined to capitalize. This is a two. Parker Sexton. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Outside, Sexton. To the paint. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Sexton's got his second bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pass to Connaughton. 58 seconds left to play here in the first. And the Kings pushing it up now. Todd's shot is good. Now just a two-point Thunder lead. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. Here's Pakushevsky coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Pass to Simon. Sinks the three-pointer. And the Thunder lead by five. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. The drive by Mitchell. Can't get it to fall. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Here's Simons. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Shoots. He can't get that one to fall. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Thunder out in front, leading by five. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Well, we know that Colin Sexton is an efficient scorer. He shed some light on the mentality that's made him successful. Like I've just been calm and letting the game come to me and not trying to force anything and just getting shots that um, my teammates create for me and just knocking them down. And even though he's more a point guard in stature, uh, Greg Sexton more of a flat-out scorer at that point than he is uh, a facilitator. Yeah, and, and Kevin, there's always a place for guys who can put the ball in the basket, especially if they lock in on the defensive end. 
and we resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, guys, what do you think? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? So with Harden on the bench, here's who Luke Walton's going with. They've got Sexton. He's out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Prozdakis in at the small forward position. The shot's good from Simon. Simons has got his second bucket of the night. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Fox passes to top. This will blow. His basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about the awareness there from Fox? You, you got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Thunder? And so What's far, up? these guys have done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy baskets. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. And a lot of players want a voice in team strategy. And I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. And the Kings making a change here. Holmes checked in. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. A three off the inbound. Hits the three-point bomb. Seven points in the game. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Kings currently have the league's longest playoff drought. De'Aaron Fox was eight years old the last time they made the postseason. But he says this is the most passionate fan base. So let's be special and dig out of this hole. As competitors, we want to win right now, but we know that we're building something. Kevin? Well, they've got the right attitude and close to a breakthrough, many people think. David, thanks. And if you want to talk about liftoff, folks, he went right from the launching pad. Serious extended hang time there. Even at full speed, it looked like he was in slow motion. Just amazing. Here's Giddy. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Outside, Sexton. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Five to shoot. Driving in. Shot from the wing. And he overshot that one, missing. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Throws it up high. Oh, phenomenal alley -oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Another miss by Fox. The Thunder leading by 11. Inside, Jovic. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Looking to end his cold spell, and Fox yeah, finishes Fox. it off. And, and Fox starting to show you his abilities inside. It has quick instincts, which I think helps him when he's down low. Back to Gilgis Alexander. There's the drive. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. It's deflected. And the pass to Halliburton. Unable to get that one. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Next up for them, the Knicks coming out here to play. And that game concludes a five-game homestand. 
Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. That's their first of the game, though, so sharp passing has helped them to craft this lead. Number 24. The Kings trail by 11. Now Sexton. 17 points for him last game against Detroit. Well, you also have to credit the way he controlled the pace of the game and was able to create for his teammates. You know, from the very start of his career, Colin Sexton has been a guy, Doris, who can find points. Even as a rookie, he was putting up some big numbers. He is relentless, looking for opportunities to score the basketball when he's on the offensive end. This guy shoots well over 40% from the field, and he will do whatever it takes to find shots. Kings have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Covington. That is his first foul of the game. Horton Tucker's checked in for the Thunder. James Harden, he's checked in for Sacramento. Holmes passes to Harden. The dish to Sexton. Holmes against Gilgis Alexander. Just five to shoot. From the arc. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, shake Gilgis Alexander off his feet and sends it back. The Thunder leading by nine. Pass to Horton Tucker. Trying to get something. Oh, oh, oh. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. And here are the Kings now. The Thunder making the shot. That's it, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Sexton. A defensive breakdown there, no doubt about it. I mean, he's a guy you have to be focused on defensively. To the inside, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Holmes with it. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. And the shot is good. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And he banks in the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got four points this quarter. All right, starting to heat up now. He's been much more efficient with the shot this quarter than in the first. Gilgis Alexander against Sexton. And it's good, two points. This young man loves to play through contact and certainly has the frame to absorb it. Go ahead, young Sexton. Horton Tucker, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Horton Tucker. Off on the layup. You know, far hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Well, what a job. Punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Both teams decided to change it up. And the Thunder with the possession here. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Simon. Shot clock at five. Todd with the rebound. The Kings trail by seven. Mitchell outside. To the middle. They swipe it. 
Pass to Simon. Here's Giddy. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. The pass to Horton Tucker. Here's Simons. He has five. Passes to Giddy. Over Harden. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Here's Mitchell. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Akusevsky, the pass to Giddy. Here's Simons. Pass to Horton Tucker. Pass to Simon. Over Harden. The Thunder with another miss. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder, and it really cost him the bucket pass. Oh, great defense there. Anticipating the play and got there first. first Sacramento ball. making a switch here. Brazdakis is checked in. Ignis Brazdakis. Here's Horton Tucker. Nine points in the game so far. The pass to Simon. Pass to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Floats one. He doesn't hit that one. Oklahoma City leading by seven. He takes it in. Horton Tucker. That's good. Just a late reaction there from the defense. And he is always Two going to finish that one. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Mitchell kicks to Harden. To a certain extent, you that's like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Foul. Take a step back. So it's Sacramento. There's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Harden's got seven. So lethal from beyond the perimeter. Harden is smart at recognizing when he should shoot from there. Stripped it away. We've got 123 left in the first half of the game. Beyond the arc. The Thunder pull it in. Here's Pakusevsky. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Simon. Jacks up a three. They get the rebound. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. To Harden. Mitchell trying to free himself. Missed inside. Oklahoma City leading by eight. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took that's the hit and drew the whistle. Four, three, five. Sacramento shooting their fourth and fifth that's shots the at the foul the line teams. in the game. Robert Woodard, the second. At the line for two. Shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Taylor Horton Tucker. Halliburton's checked in for the Kings. Fox comes in for James Harden. He hits both from the strike. And Simons has got the ball here for Oklahoma City. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Shot clock at six. Let's the three fly. Goes back up. And it's good on the way. He's got eight. You have to appreciate the doggedness and intensity on the glass. Wow. 
And so it's Oklahoma City holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. High turnovers in the first half, James. I'm sure that ball security will be a focus in the second half. Uh, yeah, that's still too many turnovers, uh, especially on fours. Turnovers. So we got to really lock in on our, on our turnovers, make, uh, make the right play at all times. James, thanks for the time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead for the Thunder. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Thunder. They were getting after it on the glass, like wild and They got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. They won the heart and hustle battle. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. And, Kenny, what'd you see from Sacramento? Playing on the road is definitely more of a challenge. But you know that coming in. They didn't seem all well prepared for this rival. I'm sure the coach is trying to like coach them up and change the momentum in their favor. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. Got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. The pass to Horton Tucker. And the layup is good. Tucker's got the first points of the second half here for the Thunder. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Luke Walton's going with. Passes it to Holmes. Inside. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Boom, he shoots it straight down. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Shoots from 12. That one goes. Count it. Fox has got six. And how about the mid-range shooting of Fox? Definitely capable of sinking those shots with consistency. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first and for Gilgis Alexander, he's a leader. Very young, but that ball fell to him. Yeah, the clear star of a very young team. OKC has handed him the keys to the franchise. He will likely be the leader of this team for a long time. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. I think what you love about Shea Gilgis Alexander is the size, athleticism, and instincts he brings to the position. This guy has the whole package. Good on both. The Kings trail by 12. Here's Fox, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Gilgis Alexander. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. Oh. 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Oklahoma City leading by 10. Here's the lob to the hoop. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop. And bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. They have been bored dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Left side, Halliburton. Back to Holmes. That falls. Nice feed that home. time from Halliburton. Holmes got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Hilgis Alexander can't get it to go. You know, missed that one, but still a really good start coming off the break. Okay, Three for four now. And how about the burst there with the change of pace? This is elite at attacking the rim. And this is his second at trip the to the line the tonight. Here in Fox. At the line for two. That free throw missing. Second free throw, good. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Guarded by Holmes. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. With the teardrop, got a piece of it. They get it back. Six to shoot. Pass to Giddy. Knocked away. Halliburton with the steal. Finished off the break. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Here's Horton Tucker. 13 points in the game. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Halliburton outside. Outside, Fox. To Halliburton. And Halliburton shoots it in. My goodness, can he elevate? That was absolutely one of the best of them. Greg, it, it, it's what makes him one of the premier entertainers it's in the entire NBA. Exactly. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 10. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Outside, Fox. Here's Holmes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Holmes got six points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Dash to Horton Tucker. to end the cold streak. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Who wants a Colin Jackson, he's checked in for Sacramento. Back to Halliburton. Outside, Sexton. Now the pass to Halliburton. Pocket six. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Oh. 
outside Sexton for the three. The shot, no good. And the Thunder going the other way now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. To the paint, here's Horton Tucker. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists in the game. Fox feeling it out a bit. That's it, and the Oklahoma City leaders cut down to five on the bucket from Sexton. And guys, for Colin Sexton, it's really about taking smart shots because when he does, you can see he's got the ability to catch fire. Passes it to Connaughton. It's good from long range. Connaughton's got himself on the board with three there. You know, he hasn't taken as many shots tonight, but they're still ahead, and that means his teammates are delivered. No oh, good with the triple. And, and they continue to control the glass. Pass to Horton Tucker. Shoots over home. Horton Tucker's shot is off. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Eight-point game. After this one, they take on the Clippers at the Staples Center. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. Now, here's Sexton. He's got 12. The Thunder pull it in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. I'll tell you, this guy is doing absolutely everything he can to get himself going, but the team is struggling because he's struggling. Clearly, a foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. They've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just a terrific break. penetration. Two shots. And the first one drops. Okashevsky's checked in for the Thunder. And Fernie Simons comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Both shots good from the strike. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Kings trail by 10. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Bronze Dakis. Count it. Cease's man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. For Oklahoma City, they've gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Horton Tucker, the pass to Pokrzewski. The pass to Horton Tucker. Shot clock at six. Misses off the left iron. The Kings have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. And Harden with such a high usage rate, Doris, it's incredible how efficient he is. Guys, his percentages are fantastic for someone who has to take so many difficult shots. He's not at the finishing end of alley oops, let's remember. This guy is not allowed clear lanes to the bucket. He gets the best defender night by night. This guy has to work for every look he gets. The Thunder with another miss. The Kings trail by eight. Las Vegas passes to Harden. Stolen away. Down low. Jovic gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Kicks to Sexton. Here's Harden on the win. Sacramento moving it around. Clock at four. That's it, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Sexton. Well, he's already a good shooter from distance now, and Colin Sexton a ton of confidence when he starts to stroke that thing. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. Horton Tucker's got eight points in the quarter. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. 
Harden surveying the D. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Harden's got nine points. Yeah, you, you got your shooters and you have your scores, but James Harden is both. Time called here of the Thunder side to talk it over. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Here's Pakusevsky. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And the Thunder lead by nine. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Outside, Sexton. And again, it's Sacramento converting. This guy has got a variety of scoring moves. Colin Sexton keeps the opposition guessing. Connaughton passes to Simons. Here's Pakusevsky. Passes it to Simons. Here's Connaughton, guarded by Harden. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. He lobs it up. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. 141 left here in the third quarter. Oh, Holmes in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. And we know about Harden's scoring abilities, but, but his team heavily relies on that vision and playmaking as well. Here's Simons. Five points in the game. Here's Pakusevsky. Over Harden. Pakusevsky can't hit. The Kings trail by seven to the inside. Jovic, defended by Sexton. Connaughton passes to Simons. Here's Pakusevsky, guarded by Holmes. Just five on the clock. Tries it from 19. Thirty-five seconds left to play in the third, and he gets it to go. He's got 12. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint, and make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. To the paint. Whoops, they pick off the pass. I always like to hold for the last shot right here. Well, that's great execution if you can do that, because it takes any chance of momentum away from your opponent. Mitchell, this is to Sexton. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sexton's got nine points here in the second half. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it right back after this break. Let's listen now to head coach Luke Walton review the game plan with his team. Play time. Hey, we aren't going to do it at one position. Get stops. It has to be on the defensive end. Well, I like the way that Luke is, Greg, looking at the big picture. I mean, no reason to rush anything. If they take their time here, they can steal this. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Pardon Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. And that's a nice play. Harden sure knows how to use that body and lift inside. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Sacramento. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Sacramento. Trailing by five. Got a piece of it. Here's Giddy. 
One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Pakusevsky, rebounded by Holmes. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Now, here's Mitchell. He's covered closely. He gets it in there. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Giddy the pass to Connaughton. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Some changes for Sacramento. Halliburton's checked in for Hart. And it's Fox in for Mitchell. Just four to shoot. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Kings trail by three. Their offense has been great here. Yeah, the ball movement has been terrific, and they've kept the defense off balance. Now, here is Halliburton. Holmes kicks to Fox. To tie it up. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander against Halliburton. Trying to end the drought. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Kings have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And Fox gets it to go. You've got to have a short memory. Put a score first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. And the Thunder making a switch here. Horton Tucker's checked in. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Oklahoma City's coach had some advice for the team during the last break. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. After you guys. Thanks, David. Kings have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Outside, Fox. No good off the front iron. Oklahoma City has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. And the Thunder lead by three. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And he gets it back. Here's Holmes. And good that time. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. First team foul. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Since halftime, he has just been in a funk offensively. Gilgis Alexander covering. To take the lead. That's tipped, and they get it back. They shoot again. Holmes can't get it to go in. The Thunder with the lead. Here's Horton Tucker. Rebounded by Holmes. The Kings have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Halliburton on the wing. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Here's Holmes. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And it's the Thunder with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Halliburton with the steal for the finish. And Halliburton shoves it in. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. Count that bucket. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy 
as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Timeout called by the Kings. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. And here's Fox. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. It's a one-point game. To the middle. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside, Fox. Inside. Pass to Holmes. And here is Fox. Off target from outside. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Shoots from the elbow. That shot misses. And here are the Kings now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. No good on the shot. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Giddy. Softly drops in the floor. Giddy's got his first two points of the night. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. And Holmes throws it down. Neither team here in the fourth generating a lot of separation. Yeah, it's been a close one. Five times the lead has switched hands thus far. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Going inside. Basket counts. Gilgis Alexander's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Now, here's Holmes. Broke loose. Halliburton outside. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. And he gives up crowns to a lot of guys defending him, but that has never kept Fox from being in attack mode. Here's Giddy. He's covered by Halliburton. With the drive, Giddy no good. The Kings leading. Holmes kicks to Fox. A baseline J, and that one hits back iron. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. We can expect a dramatic end to this one. Yeah, and no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. It's Fox with the drop, and it's Fox with the jam. And sometimes Fox just can't be contained. I mean, he plays with so much heart and passion and terrific at scoring even when he gets bodied up. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Kings. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Loads it up there for Gilgis Alexander. Halliburton outside. Now, here's Holmes. He's guarded close. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Sacramento ball. Clock is at three. not sure what that was about. Maybe a protest against his coach? Well, that is inexcusable. That kind of shot selection won't do them any good. Uh, and that 
was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Puts it up from 12, and that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Oklahoma City's gotten a lot of looks for outside tonight. Five of 12. Pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander with it. Six to shoot. Into the lane. And a strong finish with two hands. Burton outside. Doesn't go that time. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. The pass to Horton Tucker. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Fox. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Sacramento's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And Holmes throws it down. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. The dunk and the foul, a powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to go on Rashawn Holmes. Defensive foul, Rashawn Holmes. That's his third personal foul. Second What's team up? foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Shane Kiltis Alexander. At the line for one. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is it. There's 117 left here in the fourth quarter. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. And Fox gets it to go. And that's Fox saying, I'm the top dog here. You need a big basket, you come to me. Yes! A nice, silky finish on the alley -oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Now, here's Fox. It's three on three on the fast break. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by the Kings. Has to hold. Now, Fox. He'll just Alexander cover. Outside, Fox. Six on the shot clock. Halliburton for three. That shot, no good. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. That's you gotta try this in the game. Foul. 13 foul. At the line for your home city. Number 34. Taking two shots. Shoot two. It's the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They trailed by five. 19 seconds left in the game. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox. And he's played this entire game on his front foot, Kevin. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And he drives in, off with the layup. And so they That's choose to intentionally foul. De'Aaron Fox. That's his fifth personal. Fourteen foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, number 34. At the line for two. Shoot two.
First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert those. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by seven. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? Some call them wins and lessons. Coach not wasting any time making his point. Well, maybe not his time, but this game is certainly finished. Let's get it over with. Here's Rice. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Shea. Balance scoring for you all tonight. What is working offensively? Yeah, um, we're just trusting each other, playing for each other, uh, doing the sets that Coach has us doing, um, and really just, just being unselfish. Um, and when you do those things, things like that happen. It was a great performance all around tonight. Congrats on the win again. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.